What's up, guys? It's your girl Nia and your girl Nisha, and we are back with another, another video. So it is nine days. Oh yeah, and nine days to Christmas. On and eight days to my birthday. On the ninth, yes. Yeah. So continue to like, share, comment, subscribe if you're new. Turn on your post notification. Mm -hmm. Yes. So when we jump another video, you will be the first to be notified. Yeah. So yes guys, I don't know what we did for this. Yeah. Our day of our 12 days. Yes. To Christmas. Yeah. Yeah. Christmas and 8 days to my birthday. And 11 days to my birthday. Ah! I love Come on, back Christmas. So we're going to make it now. Sorry, puree. So first you know you have we're going to put it to boil a little and then we're going to turn it off. For it to get cool, then you'll see what we'll do to it next because we're about to make something delicious with this. So stay tuned. So you know, this is boiling. The sorrel is in it. Some ginger is in it. Yes. So basically, we'll show you the full process of this. So make sure before you boil your sorrel, you're going to wash them properly. Add them to your boiling your, your saucepan or whatever you want to call it your pot you're going to add it there then add some ginger and bring to a boil all right then after this you're going to leave it to cool because we're not going to put any hot thing in the blender leave it to cool and then we blend all right so stay tuned for the process oh. all right so guys we are in the process of making our puree or sour puree if you can see we have some i had some ginger to it all right so when this is cool now so i'm going to turn it off in a few minutes look how rich it is i'm going to turn it off and allow it to cool and when it is cool, we're going to proceed to blend it to how we want it. All right, so stay tuned. All right, guys, so this is the sorrel after it's been boiled. Then we are going to transfer it into the blender and blend for us to get our puree. All right, so. I'm going to add some of the juice of it in it also. Place the sorrel with some of its juice into the blender. Then we are going to proceed to blend. All right. So you can see. Look at it. It is ticking off. So this is perfect, all right? So this is the sorrel puree. I'm going to throw it out in a bowl and you're going to see how it looks, all right? Right. 
right so this is what the soil puree looks like right right so guys look at this look at the consistency it is perfect it, just the way I wanted it I think we did well with this so this is the first set of our sorrel puree still have some more sorrel to do yeah still have more so you can see I still do have more sorrel to do but this is the first set and it is looking lovely already all right all right so this is perfect for your sorrel cake you can use it in your pies you can use it on your chicken yes this sauce will make a perfect tasty gravy yes so this is our sorrel puree Can I tell you how perfect this is and so we're going to do a sorrel cake we're going to try we are truly going to try a sorrel cake for the very first time so watch out for that video and you'll see how we did with the sorrel cake this is the puree and we're going to actually use this in our sorrel cake so stay tuned so remember to like share comment and subscribe to the RN family we're checking out until then